guys welcome back this is Nikki Wonder welcome back to my channel here today to talk to you guys about my three favorite uh, travel totes my carry-on bags um, guys these are my Michael Kors jet set travel totes and I have three and they are all the same bag but they are different um, like the two different monograms of Michael Kors and then I have a soft Yana one that I'm going to show you but these are the these are the bags that I use for traveling um, they are the Michael Kors comparable to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in their design. And so I'm just going to show you their features and show you, you know, these are really good bags, guys. And it's a great alternative if you cannot find a, a good pre-love Neverfull. And it is hard to find those guys. <laughs> I notice that people tend to beat that bag up a little bit when they use it. But um, these are really good bags. And so I just want to show them to you guys really quick. And so I'm going to pull up my vanilla this is my vanilla monogram Michael Kors uh, jet set travel tote and really quick the measurements and these are via the internet measurements um, across the top is approximately 17 inches so really big open top there the bottom is measuring at about 14 inches across the bottom um, you have a height of the bag of about 11 inches or so and that's a pretty good height and the depth of the bag is measured at seven. So this is seven inches and this is across the bottom. You notice there are no feet on the bottom. So this is a you know very big open tote bag here. And the strap drop here is nine inches by default. I have extended mine. If you notice that I have actually punched an extra hole in the straps because I like the bag to hang a little bit lower and when it was up on the original um, hole here, which is when I bought it, it was on that hole there. It just was a tad bit too short for me. So I like that Michael Kors has um, given you the option to extend the straps. I think that's something that a lot of other higher end designers should give you. Um, but Michael Kors makes sure that you can customize the bag to your liking. So a couple of the features, this bag is in gold hardware. This is a treated, Vaquetta leather so it is Vaquetta just like um, Louis Vuitton but it is treated and that it won't really turn it, it will get a little bit dirty as you're using it of course naturally but it's not going to um, get that dark black or that you know super ultra gold brown or anything like that it is actually going to stay pretty light which I do like you have Michael Kors engraved on the buckles all all the way around and of course you have your uh, Michael Kors hang tag that comes with most of his signature bags right there looking at the top of the bag it is a big open non-zip bag um, this is very reminiscent of the never full by Louis Vuitton in that you have like a carabiner or a, a latch hook here that you have to squeeze and unhook to open the bag and you see that it is a big big open black hole guys this is the bag that you throw your life into when you're in an airport when you're in the train station or anything like that you can fit everything in here a travel pillow a magazine your tablet your wallet your keys your everything can fit in here and it goes right over your shoulder no problem you have one zip compartment back here which you can put your you know private items in i know that my um zippy coin purse fits in there just fine a full-size wallet not so much it is kind of small for that I have my of course my care card in there but um, it is lined it has a nice uh, I want to say this is like a canvas lining in here so really nice and it is a decent size but like I said guys you're not gonna fit a really big wallet in there probably just your you know maybe your zippy coin pouch or your um, little clutch wallet and maybe your keys or something like that so guys this is the version of this bag that did not come with a dog leash for the keys um, this was an older version right before they came out with doing that so you'll notice that that feature actually is missing um, in this bag but I'm going to pull up my brown and this is the same bag this is the jet set in brown same features as the other bag but this one is actually the next year that they put this bag out and it actually does come with the dog leash so same exact bag this one is stuffed right now and inside again you know have all my stuffing in there but you do have your one patch 
pocket there or one zip pocket there I should say and you do have your dog leash for your keys so really good bags um, but like I said I, I kind of wish I had waited and gotten the vanilla the next year when they had the when they had added the dog leash in there and the final um, version of this bag that I have is the Safiano leather and this is also the Jet Set Travel Tote by my Kors, but this one is in Safion leather. The color is luggage. And guys, this bag right here, um, you know, some of my bags I have a little story on. This one, I it kind of jumped off the shelf. I think it was maybe a, um, I want to say it was a friends and family or a Black Friday or something like that. And this bag was like one of the last ones on the shelf. And I was really glad to get it because this color is so neutral so good with everything i use this actually more than i use the other two because the safion leather is really durable um it looks like i haven't used this bag a lot but guys i have used this bag this is the most used tote in my collection um underneath of course no feet but you do have a nice sturdy hard bottom on this one same as the other two you have the gold hardware michael kors engraved around um and also on top you do have the latch hook you know never full style carabiner clip so you just open that and the difference in this bag guys you see i have my stuffing in there to keep it shape it has an additional pocket here you have your slip pocket which i just kind of use that for my phone and then on the other side you actually have the same zip pocket like you have on the uh the canvas bags or the pvc bags and this one does indeed come with the dog leash so here it is for your keys. And so I really like this one of all <laughs> of all of my travel totes. This one, of course, is my favorite um, because it's just so durable, guys. I, I really, for a while, used this bag and put it through a beating. And um, it really did, you know, stand up to, to, its, to its purpose. And it really does have a good quality. Um, the one last thing I'll say about this one also is that it does have the adjustable straps just like the first two where you can take a belt hole puncher uh disconnect this from the bag punch another hole in it and connect it back up and i love that i was able to do that because this bag uh became really a workhorse tote for me after i did that um it works well really well for me so guys that's my lightweight review of my michael kors jet set travel totes all three of them please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below tell me if you have this bag or what's your favorite bag and also your opinions about this bag and its comparison to the neverfull um which one do you prefer honestly i do prefer this one even if i had a neverfull i would probably still use this one because again i was able to adjust it to make it fit for me but maybe it's different for you so just comment down below and let me know and i'll make sure to come back and give you guys some more good video thank you for your support and i'll talk to you later